What's up, folks? Omar Hosea. The real. The day is real. Just laying here, sitting outside, with the Son of God, getting my skin tanned. You know? So, laying here in the breeze. I the breeze when I was out there, getting my skin cooled off, too. You know? And so, I said, well, how can I bring heaven to earth, you know? And so, came to me as like uh, my sins, your sins, and folks say that Christ came to die for our sins. Um, that's kind of heavy because we all still sin, so that would be a, a useless death. But I, but I can see him dying to expose sin. And so now when I hear about, when I'm thinking about like Satan, Satan, uh, you know, he whispers stuff and he tans our minds and our soul and our hearts. And then we build up a desire in that satanic voice and we go out and do it. And so, um, and then as we live in this, if you live in a Satan's child, then you're saying things uh, that's caught, that's tanning people's soul, you know, and it's causing the flake spiritually, you know. Like um, when the Son of God, when he sometimes serve people's skin, their skin flake. The same thing when you say tan, your soul flake. And um, I was like, okay, that's that's amazing, you know. In fact, more of us really revealed to me as as I'm sharing this with you. It's coming right, you know. It's all coming right now, so I'm sharing with you live. And um, and so as I'm thinking about uh, the power of truth. Uh, and the uh, helmet of salvation, the shoes of uh, peace, gird your loins of righteousness. That's your balls, fellas. Uh, get your shield. Uh, 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 prayer is your shield. Meditation is a shield. And then you have the word, the sword truth, you know what I mean, nobody can really get at you, and that's what they call the full armor of the most high, or the full armor of God, you know what I mean, the image of God, that's my armor, so uh, I'm trying to shoot you the armor up, why, because we need that armor to take away people's sin, and people need the armor to take away our sin, meaning to let us know what it is that we're missing the mark with the most high. I read somewhere and I was told somewhere and I experienced that to miss the mark is a descent in Hebrew. And so through practice, we try to get on the mark. And so these videos that I'm sharing with you guys is to take away the sin. You know, I can take your sin away with the word of truth. You know, with the shoes of peace, with my loins of righteousness, with my helmet of salvation. You know, these are the tools and the, the armor and the battlements that helps us go uh, 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 battle the sin that's in this world. But in order for you to be able to wear that suit comfortably, you have to battle that within you, you know. And so that's where it came to mind. Um, when I get text messages and phone calls and people telling me that or judging me by my past and they're still doing the exact same things that I, when I left the city. And I know I mentioned that before, but it's, 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 it's the 
the armor that we wear and the robe that we never take off allows us to uh, stand afar for some of you educated that would say stand aloof <laughs> uh, to the common uh, set apart from those people you know and uh, and they attack the ones they, that, uh, that are closer to you because they know that they're practicing like you and so they find you in confusion be careful you know uh, that's why the Messiah is some people in tools you know because you know your armor might not have been fully prepped or you didn't have all your pieces and so those who had what you lacked and what you had what they lacked you made a, a solid mesh you know that's the only logic of spiritual battle tactic uh, even though there's many uh, but that one comes to mind and so now as I'm thinking about it I'm like I'm up for battling sin of myself and I have we have a lot of victories uh, that's how we share and talk so much and um, we see people who don't know how to use these tools or be misled to take them off and put on something flimsy and so we're always battling you know people are always battling with the sin of what's good and evil when it's not your nature it's, well, you know for me, it's not my nature to battle over, over what's good and evil. Because there was something there before me. Um, so, in retrospect, it's like... I can't tell you about your sin if I haven't conquered the ones in me. That's why when you're sure that Christ from Nazareth... He drew that line and said, hey, if you're without sin, then cast the first stone, player. You know, because unless you conquered it, you know what I mean, keep it pushing. You know. So that's, you know, that's the heads up on uh, how to use your spiritual body armor. You know, not this physical body armor. You know, because that, that, that gets destroyed. Uh, even after somebody use real bullets, it still goes to the garbage because it's no good. Just like the flesh, when you get it, you hit it enough, uh, it'll go, it'll die out. Same thing with the fleshly mind called the brain. If you keep hitting it with enough, it'll die too. And same thing with the mental. Uh, if you keep hitting it with false knowledge, it'll die out too. You know. And so that right there, those, there's those things right there is a sin that we didn't have to battle that with this helmet of salvation. You know, uh, but till next time, folks. It's Omar Jose saying, "Be good to each other, say a kind word." Uh, but unless you're well trained, uh, on yourself first and well disciplined of self, try not to. Uh, judge people's sin because it's very hard for them to accept you if you're still doing what they are doing it's very hard um, but also it's also very hard to do what they're not doing so the um, the journey is equal equally rough and exciting as well but you know enough of that peace